Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we'll be doing a video that's been highly requested over the past about two weeks now, and that's making the background disappear. One of the easiest ways to do this with your photos is to use the trace panel. So we are going to go ahead and zoom in on this photo of my daughter that I took this morning. Happy Easter everyone. And we're going to go ahead and pull her from the background. So we'll go over to the right hand side and click on our trace panel and we're going to select the magnet and then magnet trace. Now it normally defaults to 50, you can change that. I find that going lowering does help, but this will be something that you'll have to kind of play with yourself to get it to the right spot. You get a round circle with the crosshairs and that's going to help you keep the magnet close. And what that does is it feels out where you're trying to put the line and it tries to stay as close to that as possible. So I do go ahead and I start tracing that and I don't do it in one full swoop because it doesn't curve properly so we'll have to snap it a couple of times. Once you finish and you connect the beginning line and the ending line, you'll get a box and you'll see one continuous line. If you double click on this, you will get your edit points so you can kind of finagle and fix little spots like here in the shoe or here at the tip of the box to kind of get that more straight. But for purposes of a quick tutorial for you, we're just going to skip doing that. Now you'll have two options. You can either hit the trace button or the trace and detach. You actually want to hit trace and detach for this and I'll show you why. Once we go ahead and do that, I can actually take my daughter out of the photo and delete this. And now I just have her. There's no white background. There's no background noise. If I wanted to trace her, I could turn this black and white and trace her. Or I can just use this as a print and cut and make really cute stickers for something. So I hope that I answered your guys' questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to get to those right away. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page. I try to post new videos every week. If you haven't already, give this a big thumbs up. I do appreciate that, and it really does help me out. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. If you have a suggestion for a video that I should be doing a tutorial on, leave me a comment about that, and I will put that on my list of things to do for you guys. Alright guys, until our next video, happy crafting!